Hello guys, what's up? I'm Navi and this is my first tutorial on English and in this case I want to show you how I made my new or my last release uh, Check that, released on Zero Cool and the track was supported by David Reda, Snake Mike, Nick Romero and played by Showtech on Skin Radio. So before to start the, the video, please thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and of course if you wanna know how to make the track go to the project. So the first idea was started with this vocal. After gonna take you home, take that ass, don't move fast, I hit the floor all night long. So it's the main element of the of the track. We have a lot of processing, a little alter boy because I changed the format in the third part of the drop. Take that ass, don't so simple. Uh, S1 EQ to uh, clean a little bit the, the vocal vocal compressor, another EQ to this in this case I decided to boost this part to to push the vocal more in the more in the front EQ to boost the highs and the smile the transitions All night long after God, take you home. Echo Boy this is a delay a small operator and the ESR, these two plugins a combined are working to reduce the the surveillance of the S's from the vocal, you can hear the difference without. Take that S, don't move fast. I and with. Take that S, don't move fast. The, the difference is uh, a lot. So, another EQ to uh, cut this height. Some silvillance. And a little bit the, this, this part. S1 and a limiter. So, Without all the processing, take that ass, don't move fast. I first wanna see you dance. With all the process, take that ass, don't move fast. I first wanna see you dance. Um, in the build up, because the idea was to start with the build up, this kick. Take that ass, don't move fast. I first wanna see you go all night long. After, after. So simple. In the drop, I will show you how I mix the kick. These two samples, a shaker. And this loop and high perk. Both of them, one is on the on the left, and the other is to the right to make the, the track more interesting in the stereo. Um, a snares, a snare roll, and a simple snare is here. So so simple with a little bit of reverb, pitch uh, up, and uh, a filter. So we have now the bass. I will show you in the drop how, how this sound was uh, mixed. But I decided to automate this part, the, the high part of the soup. You can hear how it sounds. This. And without the filter, with, without. This is to um, make the build up less powerful in comparison with the drop. Now uh, we have this effect. Downlifter, crashes, and all that stuff sound like. So simple. In the uh, pre-drop, we have this sound. It's a bass sound, but I decide to make the sound a lot of wider without the shaper. In the center, with the shaper to the side. This print is so powerful to make the the mono uh, sounds to make wider. The complete build-up sound like this. Home. So this is the, the complete build up and the drop we have a lot of things here the, the kick now I show you how this kick uh, was mixed Kashmir essential kick to boost the fundamental notes and a little bit, a little bit of transient and sorry this part this comp to to make the, the kick more tight EQ 
emulate analog EQ to boost the, uh, the low frequencies around this, this hertz. LFO tool, this is a powerful tip to, um, to short the, the kicks uh, without this plugin. And with. Now we have um, a clap. So simple clap. I think have um, decapitator and EQ because you can hear that silence. I decide to cut that part. Another clap without. And with this hi hat and other two hi hat. One, the main, and the, the, the layer, the support. This clap don't this clap don't have any effects. This hat this hat sorry have a awesome this so powerful tool to to make the the high frequencies more clean. You can hear the difference without and with and the hat the the same awesome. EQ and limiter. Without EQ, this is a uh, to boost the, the body of the hi hat. Without EQ, sound like this. And with, you can hear the, the difference. All that uh, stuff are sent to a uh, drum bus, and we have. I heard New York. This a uh, um, multi one comp uh, parallel compressor. Sorry. Transient processor because if you put this type of, of effects like a parallel compressor, in most of the cases the release of the sound that effect increase the release of the sound. So you need to back to the original of the original sound and reduce the the release without the transient processor and with. Without and with, it's not changes too much, too much, but it's here the the, the difference. EQ cut the lows a limiter to reduce the dynamic range and a filter. Any uh, any effect more? Um, I don't know. We I can show you, of course, the the bass. This is the how sound the bass. The sample from from a splice. I don't know what sample pack, but it's from from a splice. Without the process and with the process, you can hear we have uh, a lot of mid saturation effects on, on the bass. Fundamental bass to uh, control the, the sub bass. Cashmere Central Kick to boost the fundamental low note of the bass. EQ cuts, the, of course, the, um, the highs. Pro and B to reduce this part. A filter EQ, I don't know if I this EQ is turned on in the in some part i think yeah in that part in the outro of the track you can hear the outro from here yes the the most important things in the bass the saturn with a power amp uh, in this section amp power amp without the saturn and with sound a lot of crispy. LFO tool, so this is the same LFO tool to I use in the kick. Um, a limiter, of course, and yes, now I can show you the bass between the kick and the bass. It's here, the Pro and B, and I compress this part. 
So this is to make the, the staff more tight, less attack, less release, uh, for the off ratio, a lot of compression, and of course the same out level to make the compression in the right way. So without, and with. And here the difference is too much. The, the brass part is here, is that, sorry. Camel Crusher, Reverb, S1, Pro Q, Focus 1, I think, to compress uh, compress the, the sound, yeah, and boost the mid range. EQ, of course, to got again the, um, the soothe. Sidechain and Pro MB to boost the mid range and the high range. I have this sound. So simple, it's a laser sound. This to this to make this part. So simple. And this piano. So simple. Now we have uh, the, the break. This is yeah, so simple. Um a bass. Sorry for my CPO, but uh, baseline, fundamental bass to, of course, compress the sub frequencies. Another EQ, a little bit to cut the unnecessary frequencies of the sound. And we have a pad, this EQ. It's so simple. And the brakes sound like this, if you don't listen to the, the track yet. It's so so simple the bass the break is the same or the same samples from the drop but with this chord progression and any sound more i will show you the mastering is a simple mastering eq um multi -band compressor this is the another uh, multi -band compressor uh, to the sub and this part uh, because it's a little bit harsh Ozone awesome 8, I think in this part I make a e, I use a EQ. Yeah, image, a low, a totally mono, the low frequencies, a little bit high the mid, and a little bit in mono the highs. Exciter to increase crispiness of the highs, and a little bit more wider from the mid range. EQ, boost the lows, cut the highs, and cut a little bit this part of the mid range pusher. This is a poor weapon for mastering. Decide to boost a little bit the lows. This magic is to push the mid range of the of the track and a, a little bit of the highs. I don't know where is the planes because the waves planes don't work properly. So sorry, I don't know where is the this plane. A compressor, limiter and a smile to the build up and a limiter. You can saw all the process, all the steps for make this track. So thank you so much to watch the video. Of course, again, thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I hope you have a nice day.